How's it going? How do? I'm Maurice. And I'm Jared. From Fast Forward Film. And boy, have we got an episode for you today. We're going to be talking about videography terminology. It's something that a lot of people can struggle with. So, I've come up with a list of terms. I know what they mean. I'm going to see if Jared knows what they mean. I think I've got an okay grasp on some terms. I know that there's a lot that I don't know. Hopefully you'll learn something from it. I can, I can pretty much... I can pretty much guarantee there's going to be something you don't know because really? I, I had no clue. There's a lot. So I guess we ride. We, we, we do ride. I'm a bit far away from the camera, so I'll just go. Okay. I'm going to start off with an easy one. I reckon you'll know this one. Okay, I'm ready. Aerial shot. Okay, so I've got to try and define it as much as I can, yeah. as best as I can. Yeah. An aerial shot is a shot that is taken from the sky. So it's any any shot that is taken from the sky. All right, we're going to give you that one. Okay. Very right, good. Point. <laughs> right. Number two. Ambient light. Is ambient light the light that is penetrating a room? So the, the light that is already in a room. The light that isn't being controlled. That's probably a good way. That is correct. Yeah? Yeah. It's the light that doesn't already exist, that already exists before you bring extra Before you in. start manipulating light. Yeah. We go, I love the ambient light in this room. Yeah. I love the ambient light in this room. Uh, don't but, worry, don't worry, Jared. Uh, the ambient light in this room is perfect for the shot. Leave the lights in the van. The ambient light is perfect. Spot on. Backlighting. Backlighting. Mm hmm. I mean, that's quite simple, isn't it? Yeah. Well, backlighting is placing the light uh, or a, a primary source of light, not the, but a primary source of light behind the subject that you're trying to shoot. Oh, okay. So backlighting is just any light that's behind the subject. Yeah. Essentially. Okay. Cool. Okay. You yeah. haven't got any wrong yet. Yeah. So get, make your list, write this down. <laughs> barn doors. Uh, barn doors are the um, shutters, I guess you could call them, that either block off or allow more or less light. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Controlling light. They're used for controlling light. Control. You've done it. That was a point. I'm gonna give you a point for that. Call sheet. Uh, call sheet is specifically for letting actors know at what times they need to be at which place. Yeah. It is. It's a list of times. It's a time sheet. Mm -hmm. It just says you're needed at this point. Yeah, you're pretty much in the dark. It's basically, uh, yeah, a time sheet for for every aspect of, of the production. So a call sheet for everyone. Yeah. For the whole cast. Different crew. different people, so they need to, different people need to be uh, uh, on set at different times. Yeah, so the crew the crew typically arrive earlier than the cast. So you give a call sheet to a catering, a catering company as well. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Alright, we move on. Apple box. Uh, an apple box, I am pretty sure, is is literally any raised platform. Anything that is a raised but like a small box that you stand on, play something on, heighten something with, you can put a camera on it, you can put a light on it, you can stand on it because your act is a bit too short for the scene. Yeah, that's an apple box. It sounds like a proper piece of terminology, it sounds like a really weird obscure it's not, it's an apple box. That's all it is. Okay. Platypus clamp. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Platypus clamp. Duck's bill, platypus bill. This is a one thing. Yeah. Um, what? What? Is it the? Is it a clamp that looks like a pair of scissors? <clears throat> it is a tension clamp. It's usually used to hold up pieces of foam core. Essentially, a binder clamp. Yeah, you just. Clamp. It's got. It's sometimes it's spring loaded, so it'll clamp on. Cause it's not designed to. It's not designed to hold things that are that heavy. Heavy, right? I see. Um, but you can get ones that twist up. We'll put a photo on the screen. Bounce. Bounce, okay, so predominantly a bounce is something that reflects light well. It bounces light off of it. Yep, right for bounce, right for bounce. A scrim. A scrim. A scrim. Is a scrim a, a sheet of paper or material that absorbs light? That It's like a negative. Phil. Incorrect. How? How am I incorrect? <laughs> so a scrim is essentially uh, a large um, diffusion surface. And so you put it in front of the light to soften the light. Um, 
not a negative fill. Negative fill would be a large dark piece of fabric or something dark that's going to absorb light, kill the light. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. No point. No point for me there. Flag. So a flag is any usually rectangular um, piece of material, dark material, that blocks out light, just to block out any amount of light that we need. That's correct. A uh, floppy. A floppy? Yeah. What's a floppy, Jared? Jared, could you, could you go out there and just grab a floppy for What's me? What's that one inch floppy? A one inch floppy. Oh, yeah, you're giving me a clue there. <laughs> is it a one, would you have a one inch? <laughs> I don't know. Have you got a one inch floppy? Yeah, I've got. <laughs> Nah, mine's at least two inches. Ah, well, got you that. Is a floppy? I feel like it's a thing, not a not like a process or a, or a job. Or You're right in thinking it's a thing. Okay, is a floppy soft? <laughs> is a floppy something that you hang something off of? So a floppy is essentially a flag that blocks light, but it's also got the ability to you unhook it or or you pull it you pull with Velcro and another little bit flops down. So say you wanted to do a, a window that's tall, you'll put the flag at the top, you'll unhinge the bit of floppy, and it'll down over the window. Flop down, huh? Yeah, cool. and you block your light source. So mm. that is a floppy. Okay, no point for me. Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood is, uh, I think it's a district in... in... <laughs> what? Nothing, carry on. It's a district in LA. It is. That's not what it means though. Oh, what if something looks Oh, uh, Jared, can you just Hollywood that for me, please? Oh, really? Yeah. I have no idea. I have, I have no idea. Hollywood is to hold something instead of putting it on the stand. Oh, really? So if I if I wanted you to quickly bounce a bit of light for me, I'd go, Jared, can you quickly Hollywood that for me, please? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Okay. It's also a district in LA. Wah, wah. <laughs> Pick up. Pick up. Uh, is that continuing a shot that's been stopped? Correct. Video Village. Okay, Video Village is a is a place in or on a set where the director, the producer, or the client, if it's a corporate production, are going to sit and watch the footage that is being played, uh, that is being shot actually on set. It's usually placed in a location where no filming is going to take place, where it won't be seen. Correct. So there's a table, chairs, screens, monitors. Yeah. Yeah. Martini. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know. Come on, hurry up, it's the martini. Is it the the end of a break? Right. The end of a lunch break or something? No. It's the last shot of the day. Last shot of the day. Right, it's the martini. Martini. Let's go and have a martini after. Yeah. Go, come on guys, martini, martini. Let's get it all wrapped. Yeah, yeah. martini. <laughs> Hot points. Hot points. Hot points. Hot points. Hot points. Oh, is it when someone's walking through set with that are carrying something that's of value or is sharp or is electrical or dangerous? Yeah. <laughs> hot points! I could not picture myself. Hot points! Hot points! I know. Just like, get out of the bloody way. Yeah. I'm walking through it. Instead of going, excuse me, please. Go hot going, points. Hot points! Everyone's like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, shit, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Greek. Greek? Yeah. Not, uh, the, not the language. Okay. Greek. Oh, can I ask for it in a sentence? Um. Yeah, you're gonna have to Greek it. We can't have that. That's a good sentence. Um, does it mean to chuck it out, do it again, restart? Don't like it. No. No. It's what they do to products. So you've got a can of Heinz beans, and what in shot? In shot. You want it to be in shot, but you don't want it to say Heinz. You turn the can around. Well, we'll cover the label up. Cover the label up. Okay. You agree. So, so it's covering uh, a, a brand. brand. Covering yeah, a brand. Essentially. Or sure. product. Okay, no point there. Yeah. Flying in. Uh, flying in is something that you say when you're carrying a piece of equipment to the set that is needed. You're close and give you half a point. Oh. It's if a person's coming, a product, a piece of equipment. Or someone's coming onto set that's required. Anything that's needed coming and, onto yeah, set. Yeah, it's flying in. So it's like, 
Oh, Reese, where's where's the? Big... He's flying. He's flying in, mate. He's flying in. Not okay. long. Not yeah. long. Right, okay. I don't know why we're always in such a panic on them. <laughs> it is because yeah. sets are panic. Yeah. Well, you know, any production yeah, is so. panic. Yeah, I guess so. Last one. Last one. So this last one, I'm going to make very difficult. And if he gets it, it's two points. You're going to have to like and subscribe if he gets this one. And if you, if I don't get it, you, you still have to like and subscribe. You just have to like and subscribe. Yeah, you'll Sorry. only have to subscribe. Yeah. Cookie. Cookie. Is a cookie any storage device? No. Ah, oh, imagine that. Oh, That'd be no. cool. Yeah, no. You grab the it's definitely yeah, not three terabyte cookie, please. Yeah, no, it's definitely not. Oh, what is it? I'll give you a clue. I'll give you a clue. Okay. Julie, have you got those blinds? No. Oh, she's bloody forgotten them. Uh, John, you got that cookie in the van? Yeah, yeah, I got, yeah, got that. Brilliant. Bring out the cookie. Don't worry, Jane. You dopey. <laughs> what? What does any of that mean? So Jane forgot the blinds. Yeah. But John, he's yeah. got a cookie. Yeah. So don't worry. Shut the blinds. No. John, get the bloody cookie out. Is it the, uh, the replacement of anything? No. What is it? What's, what's a cookie? The cookies, uh, it's, it's usually a solid piece of wood or metal with shapes cut into it to mimic light, to make create shapes for light to pass through. There is, a, there is an actual word for it, and I can't remember, but this is the, that's the slang word for it. Oh. I think I've done very well. You did, you did extremely well. Yeah. You did extremely well, and what I was gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna say one for you guys to do. Uh -huh. So comment below if you know the answer to this. Don't cheat. No cheating. Just comment your answer. Just comment your answer down below. All right. My slang film term for you guys: banana. I don't think I know what that means. I'll give you a clue. It's not it's not the director or the DP calling for a snack to be delivered. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's okay. not the director or the DP. You don't store them in an apple box. No, certainly not. No. But you might have a director or a DP who is a banana. Not in this not in the sense of this terminology. No. So, so yeah, the banana. terms banana, right? Maybe give them a sentence that they can use it. Go, Leo. Um that's not working, mate. Um, let's try something else. I need you to do me a banana. All right? Okay. There you go. Yeah? Yeah. There you go. All right. With that being said, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. We hope you've enjoyed the video. Yeah. We'll see you next time. We ride. Bye.